Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this epic sword in Terraria, the Terror Blade. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so everything you need to get the Terror Blade is 12 hallowed bars. 120 Clarified Ore, 20 Obsidian, 60 Hellstone Ore, 30 Demonite or Crimtain Ore, 12 Stingers, 12 Jungle Spores, 1 Broken Hero Sword, and at least 1 Golden Key. Let's get straight into crafting it. First, you should get the golden key, or some golden keys, and head to the dungeon. Alright, so once you're at the jungle, talk to the old man at night, and kill Skeletron to get access to the dungeon. Alright, it has just turned to 7.30, so here we go, curse, and then just defeat it. Once you have defeated Skeletron, just head on in, grab some gold keys. You can get the gold keys from regular wooden chests or from mobs like the grey slime I think it is or the dungeon slime and find locked gold chests like this. Open it. Oh, that was really lucky. I got the Muramasa first try. Let's just place the Muramasa in the chest for now. The next sword you will need is either the Blood Butcher or the Knight's Bane. It's different for each type of world you have, either the Crimson or the Corruption. If you've got a Crimson world, then you will need 30 Crimtain Ore, and if you've got a Corruption world, you need 30 Demonite Ore. You can get this ore from the Eye of Cthulhu, the Brain of Cthulhu, or the Eater of Worlds. In my world, I have the Crimson, so I will head over to the Crimson and defeat the Brain of Cthulhu. So I am at the Crimson right now. You have to head into these big mouth-looking caves and head all the way down until you find some glowing hearts or glowing orbs. Here we go, I just found one. So, just destroy it and destroy two more and then either the brain or the eater of worlds shall spawn. There we go. Now where is it? Oh, it's, down, it's up there. Destroy that. And in the treasure bag, it has given me 61 Crimtain ore. You won't need anything else from the bag. So just head home. Head to a furnace to create the Crimtain bars. You need 10 of them, and then head down to an iron or lead anvil and create the blood butcher or light bane, and put the sword in the chest with the Muramasa. The next thing we need is the fiery great sword. So we need 20 obsidian, which you get from putting water on top of lava and then mining it, and also 60 hellstone. Let's go grab that right now. As you can see, here's some water. So, I will dig all the way down until I find some lava so I can make some obsidian. All right, so I have just found some lava. So I will grab the water from up above and let it flood down to the lava. Once it touches the lava, it should make a coating on top, which is obsidian. Grab 20 of it. There we go, I got 20 obsidian. The next step is to head into the underworld. Here we go, I'm in the underworld now. And find a hellforge because you'll need that for the next step. Here's a hellforge, so just grab it. Once you have the hellforge, grab 60 hellstone ore. All right, I have 62 hellstone ore. 
and 20 obsidian. So I will head back up. Oh, dang it. There's a goblin army. Let's just try and finish this as fast as we can. Okay, great. It's defeated. All right, since we have the health forge, that is an upgrade to the furnace. So we can get rid of the furnace and replace it. There we go. So at the health forge, go up and create 20 hellstone bars. Once you have 20 hellstone bars, make the fiery greatsword and then place it into the chest. Next, we will be creating the blade of grass. You need 12 jungle spores and 12 stingers. So I will head over to the jungle. So I'm here at the jungle. To get the stingers, you can either you can either get them from a hornet, a dragon hornet, or a spiked slime. A spiked jungle slime, that is. And for the spores, they're just glowing green things in the underground jungle. So I have gotten one stinger so far, and there is a jungle spore right there. So I will grab that. I have got the 12 jungle spores, so now I will get the rest of the stingers. Alright, so I have just gotten all 12 of the stingers and jungle spores, so I will head back home. Once I've gotten all of them, head to an iron anvil and create the blade of grass. Once you got that, place it in the chest. Now once you've got all four of these swords, grab them all and head to a demon altar. Demon altars are in the crimson or corruption. Alright, so I am in the Crimson where we fought the Brain of Cthulhu. So all I have to do is come down and see these things. These are cr demon altars. So, once you're at them and you have all four of the swords, create the Knight's Edge. The Knight's Edge is one of the ingredients we need. Next, we need the Excalibur. To get the Excalibur, you need 12 Hallowed Bars. You get at least 15 Hallowed Bars from each of the Mechanical Bosses. The Mechanical Bosses are the Twins, the Destroyer, and Skeletron Prime. Right now, I will be creating the Spawner for one of the Mechanical Bosses. So, I will be creating the Mechanical Worm. So you need six vertebrae or rotten chunks, five of any iron bar, and six souls of night. All right, we have gotten six vertebrae now. To get souls of night, you have to go to the underground corruption or crimson, the cavern layer. As you can see, there's one soul of night right there. Alright, so I have gotten the six souls of night. Now I will need five iron or lead bars, I believe. Alright, I have gotten 23 iron ore. That should be more than enough. And to make the mechanical spawners, you need a mithril or orocalcum anvil. You get them in hard mode by mining Mithril Orocalcum. All right, so I've got Orocalcum, so I will just grab as much as I can. All right, I've got 53 Orocalcum ore. That should be enough. Let's make the five iron bars. Throw the rest in the bin, because we don't need it. There we go. We need 12 Orocalcum bars to make an Orocalcum anvil. So just make the anvil. You won't need any excess. Destroy the anvil you have now and replace it. Once you've done that, you can make the mechanical spawners. There we go. Let me just put the knight's edge in there to keep it safe. While we are waiting for night time to spawn the boss, I will go the jungle, the underground jungle that is, and try and get some chlorophyte. We need 120 pieces of chlorophyte ore. 
as you can see, I have just found some chlorophyte. So I will go down here and mine it all up. I had just gotten 12 chlorophyte ore from that, and I need 10 times more to get the amount of bars I need. Alright. See you all in a little bit when I get all the chlorophyte ore. Eventually. Alright, so I have 128 chlorophyte ore. So I will head back and up here. Because I've got chlorophyte ore, we now need either an adamantite or titanium forge. So I will go mining for that. Alright, so I have gotten 30 titanium ore. So come over to your anvil. Once you have 30 titanium ore and the hellforge, craft it into the titanium forge. Or the adamantite forge, whichever you have. Then grab your chlorophyte. There we go. You will need 24 chlorophyte bars. Right there. And now we need the 12 halo bars. Now that is... Oh, it's going to be a terrible night. Well, it looks like I don't need the spawner. Alright, let's wait for whatever boss it's gonna be. Maybe it's not a boss. I think I might just summon the mechanical... Oh, not the mechanical worm. Summon the destroyer right now. There we go. That is how you defeat him very fast there we go got a treasure bag and in the treasure bag there we go 32 hello bars oh the twins as well great all right that's one of them defeated and now the second one there we go two bosses in one night so i got 59 hello bars so just come come over to your anvil and make the Excalibur. Once you have the Excalibur, grab your Chlorophyte and make the true Excalibur. There we go. As you can see, it shoots beams of light. Let's place it into the chest. Now to get the true Knight's Edge, we need 20 souls of sight, 20 souls of might, and 20 souls of fright. So you need to defeat all of the mechanical bosses. I will just get a spawner for the last one, which is Skeletron Prime, and defeat it. Alright, so I have just defeated Scaltron Prime, and I got s all of the things I need now. So I've got more than 20 of all of these souls. Let's just grab our Knight's Edge. And here it is, the true Knight's Edge. Let's just craft that. As you can see, that also makes something. Or oh, throws like a sword, a laser beam sword out. We can just get rid of the rest and place it in the chest. The last thing that we need is a broken hero sword. You get it from Mothron in the solar eclipse. Alright, it's daytime so I will summon a solar eclipse and wait for Mothron. Alright, I have just gotten a broken hero sword as you can see right there from Mothron and if you're wondering why it doesn't spawn it's it's because it spawns only after you defeated all three mechanical bosses and Plantera all right now that we've got the broken hero sword let's take out all three of the ingredients the l true knight's edge the true Excalibur and the broken hero sword at an Orichalcum or other anvil 
And here it is. The Terror Blade. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.